This is going to be another Microsoft Azure vlog, and this one is going to be protecting a storage account from accidental deletion by using a resource lock. So to start off, you have to go to the Azure portal, which I've already done, and then you have to go to the top of the page and select resource groups. Right there. Then from there, select new, the plus new, then create resource pane will appear, so we're going to create one. And then here it is. Um, a resource group, just in case. Copy that. We will need that. Alright, so there's all that. And then after that, just the region, and then that's it. So this one's a lot more simple than the other ones that we've done. So then we'll view and create. Then select create. Now it is created. So now we're going to, from the Azure portal, select your uh, resource group. So we'll select it. Alright. Then after that, we're going to, under settings, select locks and then select add. So we're going to select locks and add so so here's the lock name we'll paste that in there uh, lock type is delete just in case there we go then no notes so then we're going to select ok and that resource lock is applied to your resource group so there it is. And then we're going to verify the resource group is protected from deletion. So we're going to go to, from the top of the page, select my, my test RG, uh, to go to the overview pane. And we're going to click delete resource groups. Uh, I'm not seeing the same thing. There it is. So then, on the prompt, you should say an OK message so this can't be locked. I guess we test it out and see if it deletes it or not. Alright. Okay, and there it is, it failed because it's locked and you can't delete it. So protect a storage account from accidental deletion. So from the Azure portal at the top of the pane, select home to return to the start. Uh, storage accounts. Where are those? Storage accounts. There it is. Uh, in the basics, I fill in the following fields, so I assume, yeah. So like now, so which rate appears in the basics tab, fill in the following fields. So subscription is zero for students, resource group. The name for it is going to be, er, there it is. Yeah, I was going to say, I think this has to be something um, different than what the NN is, because that's just a um, standard one that it already automatically puts in. Um, performance standard V2 and locally redundant. So locally redundant um, count kind. I don't see anything for that. Uh, select again, create, then select create. So 
or you can create, then you have, what is it, it's the account kind. Everything looks right, I guess, I don't see anything that doesn't. Yeah, alright. Uh, create. Deployment take a few moments to complete, then we're gonna go to resources. I'll go to resource, and then at the top of the page, once it's done, we'll click delete. Now it shouldn't work because it has the lock on it. So then we'll, after that, then we'll go over to the lock and delete the lock, and then we should be able to delete the resource group and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so there it is. So, yes, failed. Home. And then we'll go over to the locks. Delete the lock. Now we'll go back home, I guess, just for simplicity's sake. We should be able to delete the resource group, we just have to copy over the name. And delete. May take a couple of seconds. We'll go home. I assume it's still loading. Um, yeah, so basically that's how you set up a lock, lock it, and then um, take the lock off if you need to. So that's it. That's it for this one, and there'll probably be another one up pretty soon.